Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be telling you the top 5 fruit in Blocks Fruits update 18. Now this is entirely my opinion, but I will try and make it pretty unbiased I think. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, it's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. Right, so coming in at the number 5 spot is the fruit I'm using right now. Portal, yay! You may be thinking, why would you put portal number five? Well, it's because a load of reasons. It is the best transportation in the entire game. Because you've got the M1 that can launch you super far, the Z move, the F move, uh, you've got the dimensional rift which you can use as sometimes a combo extender and also a place to just hide from other people. And then you've also got the parallel escape which is just makes you immune to everything for like two seconds three seconds and also the world warp which can go anywhere in the sea like if i wanted to go right back down there i could this fruit is extremely good at running and chasing so let's say i were to want to get over to that big tree at the top right there because someone's right there i go bam 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 and then just use some other moves and look how fast I went there it's like no time at all and from here to the other tree as well see that I'm already there that was like a second the fruit has really short cooldowns as well and the dimensional rift you can put people into it as well with you and that like blocks them off from running for a little while and it's got a very good stun move and that stun move is the portal dash just Look at this, as soon as it hits the person, it's almost instant, and it, as soon as it hits the person, it stuns them for a couple seconds. Like that. For an entire second, you could do whatever you wanted, like uh, heavenly lunges, load up a move like El Diablo. It's really just crazy. Here's an example of me using El Diablo on it. It's ridiculous. How good the stun is and it's already off cooldown again and then the X move also stuns for a little bit and does damage so if let's say I'm over here and want to start a combo I can like teleport use my X move and then my Z move and they be in that right there it's amazing for PvP and not bad for farming but I found this one amazing glitch that makes you intangible and you can attack the enemies for only a couple seconds but still in your parallel escape let's say I'm using it if I want to use a different move it automatically takes me out of the portal whereas what's a way of damaging without using an actual move clicking so you can go into your parallel escape click a couple times and see they don't even know where I am and I practically killed them just from the parallel escape that's actually not bad for farming now the downsides are it's a little hard to aim the stun move and it's got a little small hitbox I think and also it is an Alogia fruit so that's another downside. Now at the fourth place is Buddha fruit. Dun, 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 dun. It's got a giant hitbox so you can M1 with either your sword or melee. It's got enormous damage reduction. You do like 50% damage to a Buddha player while they're transformed. It's great for farming because you have a giant hit box and you can just stand there hitting the enemies all the way down there. Like you'd be as big as the this house practically with Buddha version 2. It's also not bad for PvP but I don't recommend using it because it annoys people so much because you just spam your clicks and their health goes down in an instant. It's got insane vertical speed. As you can see, my Gepo is tiny right now, but if I was a Buddha, one Gepo would practically get me around here. It's really good. Now, the bad things about it is that it has slow horizontal speed, so when you're transformed in the Buddha, it's slower than me doing this. If I were to use my dashes in Buddha, you walk pretty slow as well. Also, the actual moves of Buddha have a long wind-up, and also, a bigger hitbox equals a bigger target. 
So it would be way easier for people, let's say with gun stats or something like that, to try and hit you. And it's also easier for other moves to hit you as well. And also it's not a logu fruit, but I still recommend it for farming. The next fruit on the list is venom fruit. Venom fruit is pretty crazy. It's got poison on each move, which helps get rid of their observation dodges and just does a lot of damage in general. Also the flight move does damage. So like if I was flying around that, it would do damage. And then if I let go, boom, it would do a bit of damage as well. It's got some really high damaging moves, especially with the poison as stated earlier. It's great for both PVP and farming because of all the AOE it has. All the moves can be upgraded into better moves by using the transformation with longer range, more damage, and just better overall. And also while transforming, the moves have a bigger hitbox than the regular thing. So let's say my Venom C move would be a cloud of gas around me that would probably go to the radius of that building all the way around me. If I was transformed Venom, it would be stationary, but it would be enormous around this entire place. And also the flight goes faster the lower health you have. So it's pretty good for running as well. Not like I run at all, no, not at all. There are some bad things about it, like how it's got a slow base flight when you're at max health. It only has three main moves, not including the transformation or flight, and also it is an Elogia fruit. Ugh, barrier fruit. One of the worst fruit in the game. Alright, so now the second best fruit in the game would have to be leopard fruit. Yes, that's right, leopard fruit. The most expensive fruit in the game. It is incredibly fast, like ridiculously fast. It can't compare to something like World War, but it is still crazy how fast it can go. Even me being a Fishman V3, I can be faster than a mink using its ability while I'm transformed into the leopard state and used the C move, which has a speed boost. It's great for running and chasing because of how fast it is. It's got stupidly high damage, extremely fast moves, including the finger gun and, and the smash and stuff like that. It has a big area of effect for most moves. The teleport move does damage, which is crazy, and it can be used as a combo extender. The transformation has clicks as well, and they are too good. Like, it's three regular clicks with pretty big area of effect, and then the fourth is like a roar, which damages basically from that side of the room to that pole right there, all around me. And you can just keep spamming that and it does a very good amount of damage for how fast it is. It's great for PvP and pretty good for farming as well. Sadly, a downside is that it's extremely expensive, costing 5 million belly, and also it isn't a Logia fruit, sadly. Now, the best fruit in the game. I bet you guys can guess what this is. It's Doe Fruit, or Doe V2 anyway. Yay, what a surprise. It is a Logia fruit, technically not, but it works like a Logia. It's got ridiculous stun for the moves. It can roll on water. The transportation move is super fast. It's extremely easy to use. It's even got a click ability with enormous range. It's got so many combo extenders. It's amazing for PvP, great for farming because of the Logia and the giant AoE on all moves, and it's extremely versatile. The only downside I see is that it's pretty expensive and hard to awaken. But aside from that, it's practically perfect. It's so versatile. It can be used if you're a fruit main, if you're a gun main or if you're a sword main. All right, that's my list. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.